I've been thinking a little bit about Origins. Sure, there's mobs are dead, and there's Moon now, Buried, some of these, you know, these great maps, Shadows of Evil, uh, maybe even some you consider the Rising Draft, Revolutions, uh, Guru Rise Pro, there's so many great maps out now. But Origins, I still feel like is the best, and I'm gonna explain why right here. So Origins, the main thing about it is it has these things that I like to call situational events. And this sort of stuff is like the generator stealer guys coming, Panzer's coming, uh, yeah, if a teammate goes down while you're capturing a generator. Uh, what else? The robot foot the guy steps on you. There's just so many things in the map that are that are sorta of like objectives. There's a lot of objective based stuff, like go take these guys out, go power this up. And that, it makes things interesting really, because on most maps it's just survival, but if you're playing Origins really, for the first like 25 rounds you aren't worrying about survival really. I mean, you're, you're worrying about surviving, but your main goal is to get things done, you know, do some objectives, but it's not really like Zetsubo no Shima in the sense that the objectives you feel like you're just doing because you have to. In this map, it feels more like you get a good reward for your uh, for the work you put in. Like going in the other robot puts right here. You see, I get the three windstaff pieces, and then that would build me the windstaff. And then the windstaff's an amazing reward, you know. It'll do me good till round 20, about. But even though I can still two shot kill some guys. And then all the other staffs, they're really simple to build, and then they, they're a decent reward, you know. And then the upgrade process, it's, not, it's more like a puzzle, you know, you gotta solve the mystery, sort of, to be able to upgrade your staffs instead of just finding pieces and parts all around. Yeah, I mean, finding parts is alright, but it's just so much more engaging when, uh, when, when you're actually, you know, solving a puzzle, and if a teammate doesn't know how to do it, you know, you can help him out right next to him, you help him solve the code, or upgrade his staff, show him what to do. And, right here, you're, this is where the situation events. I told this guy, hey, I'm gonna cover you with sniper fire, and then go revive him. While he was powering up that generator and died, and then he made it out alive. Cause I was covering, you know, I was covering him, sniping and everything. This is just a really awesome moment that really doesn't happen too often on other maps. I mean, Mob of the Dead, maybe, maybe that might happen. But he's less likely to go down with the generators. Okay, yeah, here's another part. I'm shooting this uh, Panzer, break free, and I start running away. And as you see the dude shooting the fire staff, he saved my life. And then I, I, I go running back. As you can see, I, I start shooting him again. The guy's getting pulled in, so I run back. I start stabbing him, and I break my teammate free. That's just just one of those epic things. And the music is amazing as well. I mean, if you guys were listening to the Music for Origins is probably about two and a half to three times longer than any other map. There's just so much music in this map. It helps, makes it such a great environment. And as you can see, here, here's a third clip. This time we're on round 26. Our two teammates that we were playing with earlier they left. I see three Panzers over here. I got all three of them out clean. Just such an awesome thing that only happens on this map. I mean, Mob of the Dead. Here, here's your argument with Mob of the Dead. Probably plane parts. You're getting the plane parts, you're flying the plane, that sort of thing. Maybe with Chaz and Evil you're powering up the rituals. But the thing about those is they only happen once. And then from there on, on Chaz and Evil there's nothing, and on Mob there's just getting the gas cans. You know, in, in those maps, you know, you sort of start... At some point you start failing, sort of. Like, you start failing to have anything to do. You know, it, after, like after you get your first objective done, then there's no more. That's what I kind of feel like on those maps. I mean, on Shadows of Evil, after you pass your sword, after you upgrade the sword, and after you get the rituals done, and that's it. There's, no, there's nothing more to uh, entertain you. <laughs> yeah, check yeah, check this out right here. There's one max ammo. There's one max ammo. There's two. There's three. <laughs> there's four. Look at how many max ammo I just got. That's insane. Just doing the Easter egg, I killed all, uh, the eight of those Panzers. There's so many awesome moments on this map. I don't know. 
And not to mention, there's the four, uh, four wonder weapons for all four players. There's like three or four Easter egg songs on the map. There's a, there's a beatable ending. I mean, there's uh, there's an airstrike grenade quest. There's also monkey bombs in the box and the ray gun in the box. Ray gun mark two. There's so there's a reason to hit it. You know, there's MGO eight Easter egg. There's, there's a lot of Easter eggs on this map. Uh, what else? There's the golden uh, golden helmet, golden shovel that you have to dig for. Try and get digging mechanic itself. And another great thing about Origins is you can moderate your game. So if you have a long time to play, then great, you can go play normally, or you can do the Easter egg. But if you don't have that much time, then what you can do is you can do the no pantry challenge, where you only open up the the sort of trenching areas. You do that, or if you only have a little bit of time, like 15 or 20 minutes, you can do the starting room challenge. And all all of these are really satisfying though just because you know starting you have something to aim for you get those headshots try to get your double tap and everything try to get your pack of punch weapon and you got quick arrive as well power up generator one and there's just a lot of a lot i'd say happening in this mod you know there's always something happening and that's why I think it's better than any other map. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.